guys, it's Shilla Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing something super exciting. If you didn't know, concealers are actually one of my favorite things to just test out. I feel like concealers and bronzers are always what gets me. And I guess foundations as well. I feel like if you have a good concealer, your foundation kind of becomes a little bit secondary. So I'm super excited for today's video. We're going to be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Magic Star um, concealer and powder. So I have them right here. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's just go ahead and get started. A little bit about the product. I did purchase this from Beautylish, and they also have all the other shades as well. He came out with 30 shades total and then two um, color correctors. One is speech and one is green. He also mentioned that he might be expanding and coming out with some more color correctors or maybe more shades um, if he needs to. All the shades kind of go into rose under undertones, neutral undertones, olive undertones, warm peach undertones, and I think that's, I think, oh, yellow undertone. Make dark circles, spots, and other skin imperfections disappear before your eyes with Magic Star Concealer from Jeffree Star. Create the illusion of perfect skin with just a wave of your magic wand and the weightless concealer delivers full, never cakey coverage. So that is full coverage, matte finish, and a liquid formula. Um, it's cruelty free, vegan, and fragrance free. So kudos for fragrance free. I really, really hate when uh, they put fragrance on foundations and concealers. I really much, pretty much hate fragrance on anything because those things tend to break me out and I just prefer it this way. So it has a doe foot applicator. I'm going to show it to you in a second. It says use with your fingertips or a brush to blend. It's supposed to camouflage blemishes, rednesses, dark spots, and other imperfections with this magically lightweight full coverage concealer. It's supposed to be a hydrating formula, blends effortlessly, and dries down to a satin finish um, without caking or creasing. Then he also came out with the Magic Star Setting Powder. It retails for $22 as well. It came out with eight shades. I chose the shade Topaz. It's supposed to be a little bit lighter than Banana. I just felt like beige was a little bit too light for me. He has translucent, fair, rose. Um, a lot of people really like enjoy having rose because I feel like you have that pinkish undertone under your eyes and it really can cancel out any darkness on top of all the concealers you applied. Then there's beige, then there's banana, topaz, caramel, and suede. I really hope this one's going to fit me. It looks a little bit darker on the outside, but all the swatches kind of said that it was a little bit lighter than banana, so it's wrong. Creates a luminous soft focus finish with Magic Star Setting Powder from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The silky ultra fine powder magically blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other skin imperfections for a flawless airbrush effect. Creasing who? Can't really. Leaves skin with a velvet matte finish per, um, with perfect skin. Soft focused particles blur the look of imperfections on all skin types. Formulated to set your makeup all day without caking or creasing. And it says apply with a damp beauty sponge or pointed powder brush. Use a magic star setting powder under your eyes and either side of your nose, in the center of your forehead and anywhere else for an airbrush effect. Light press powder into your skin and let it sit for five minutes before dusting off the excess. Comes with 0.353 ounces and is cruelty free and vegan. I just want to give you a little comparison. This is a pretty vulgar um, translucent powder. It comes with 0.88 ounces. This one com comes with 0.353. I do feel like for the powder is definitely worth it because you are getting a lot of product um, with a really cheap price. Um, but we haven't tried it out, so I just wanted to mention that. I also did want to give you a little bit of comparison with the Jeffree Star um, concealer because I feel like this one doesn't bring as much product as people think. When he first came out with the prices, I was like, wow, $22 for a concealer. I was really impressed, but then um, I found out how much product actually comes in here, and I was a little bit disappointed. It comes with 0.115 ounces. I have the Fenty's right here. Um, this one comes with 0.27. Um, I also have the Jouer. I'm going to show you to you in a second. The Jouer comes with 0.139, so that's still a lot more, but you also get those for $27 up. If the concealer works for me, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase it and spend the money because I feel like that is something that is worth it for me. So this is a concealer right here. As you can see, he always comes out with super cool packaging. I love the fact that he spent the extra time. Just look at the details on this little packaging right here. It's like a little tube. Kind of reminds me of like one of those magic, um, I don't know. I don't know what you call those, but it's really cool. This star right here is very sharp, so be careful with that. And I feel like this can break very easily, but I love the fact that this is like kind of a, like, symbolizing a diamond and it's pink. It's really cute. And then it has the Jeffree Star logo right here. Underneath it just says your shade. I chose the shade C13, which is kind of like in the middle. And then for the powder, it also has Jeffree Star's um, 
logo right here. And then it has a little pink, kind of like reddish pink um, cap. And then on the, on the back it says your shade, which I have Topaz. You open it up, you kind of have your powder on one side. And then on this side you can just take your powder, which I think is really cool. I'm not sure. You kind of twist this to open it. And then you can take that sticker off. So that's really how that works. You're going to start by applying the Jeffree Star Concealer. Like I said, I have the shade C13. I did already prime my eyes with the BDL Luminizer Primer and also with the No Pore Volume primer. I use this all over my face and this one under my eyes. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up. It's a twisty cap and then when you take it out it's kind of like a doe foot applicator but it's a two-sided so it kind of has a little hole in the middle to um, just hold on to more product that way you're not wasting product. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. I do want to show you. All right, I'm pretty sure I have another um, concealer that looks just like this one, but I can't find it for some reason. So I'm just going to start putting this on my eyes. I was between the shade C14 and C13, but C14 look way lighter than this one. And I thought this one with a um, neutral undertone was kind of better for my skin complexion. Um, as you can see, it is very creamy. And as far as coverage it looks very full coverage but of course i haven't blended it out so that it could all change in a minute so i feel like i went a little bit heavy not too heavy because this is usually how much concealer i would go with um under my eyes but i'm going to be applying some on my nose as well and then i usually also apply some for my eyes just to create a base um for my shadows so i'm going to do that as well I know we're going to look a little bit crazy for a minute, but I feel like it's all going to turn out well in the end. All right, so that is all the concealer that I'm going to go with. I'm going to be using my beauty sponge for one side, and then I'm going to be using my Real Techniques um, little brush for the left side. So starting with the beauty sponge, I'm just going to start um, blending this out. So it feels very lightweight. I also feel like you don't need as much product as I applied. It does spread out pretty um, easily throughout your skin. So that's something to think about. Like be very precise where you apply this because it's definitely going to just spread out to more places. Drying, but I don't feel like it's drying down to a mat. I feel like it's still a little bit wet. Um, I feel like it stays a little bit wet when you're drying it but that's nothing that bothers me i feel like that's very easy to just you know maneuver this may not be the right shade for me but i feel like once i put the foundation it'll probably all look better i'm applying this with a brush on the left side and i'm seeing kind of like the brush strokes that i leave behind so i don't really i think i don't really enjoy that so i might go over it with the beauty sponge at the end um, just if it keeps looking like that. As far as coverage, I feel like it did cancel out most of my darkness, but I do feel like I have kind of like this gray um, cast over my skin, so I don't know if I really enjoy that. That's not something that I get with most concealers. I'm going to come a little closer just so you can see. I definitely like this side better. I feel like here you can see that my lines are marked and I didn't get as much coverage as I did with the beauty sponge. Um, but that is something that is personal preference. Not all things, you know, apply the same um, on everyone. So I'm just going to go over it with the beauty sponge as well because I just don't like how it's looking. You can see that it is creasing a little bit on my lids and I feel like I'm afraid that it's going to start creasing underneath my eyes. I also thought that it was going to be a hydrating um, formula, but I'm seeing a lot of dryness over here and kind of under my eyes. I don't know if you can see that. I do have dry skin, but that is not something that happens to me with all concealers, so that is something to think about. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid.
Alright guys, so my makeup is done. Let's talk a little bit about the Magic Star Concealer and Powder. Now that I have all my makeup on, that everything is done, I am really impressed with how this is looking. I felt like in the beginning, in the application, I really wasn't loving it that much. I felt like the coverage wasn't as good as he promised it to be, and I felt like the finish was a little bit on the weird side because it was very lightweight and it wasn't like drying down to a full matte. So I didn't really know how that was going to work. It is definitely very, very lightweight. Especially with lightweight concealers, I kind of struggle because they kind of like fade away as I'm brushing them off. But I feel like this one very, really, really came together, especially after I set it with the um, powder. I feel like my favorite part was the powder and not the concealer, which is really surprising. I feel like I could go with the beige shade, but I feel like this one I could make it work definitely, um, especially during the summer when I'm going to be a little bit more tan. If you are kind of like on my skin tone right now, I would definitely go with beige. I don't know if I'm going to end up returning this one and exchanging it. I did really like it to set right here because I feel like here I always put a darker foundation just to definitely darken and, you know, have that really sharp contour. But I really feel like I like it right there. So maybe I'll keep this one, get the beige one um, in addition for under my eyes because you obviously always go lighter under your eyes. But I really, really like how it's looking. I'm going to come a little closer to let you guys um, see. I am having a little bit of fine lines right here, but that is not something too crazy. I kind of can help that. And honestly, I only have it on this side because I went in with a brush. Like I said, I definitely prefer to use this with a beauty sponge because this side is looking really, really good. If you wanted more coverage, I would definitely go in and color correct before you um, apply the concealer. But so far, I feel like this looks really good. I mean, you guys be the judge. You are looking at it um, on the camera. I can't really see how it looks on the camera on the viewfinder but I can see how it looks on my skin right here and I really really like it. I'm just gonna leave this off like this for a couple of hours and then I'm also just gonna let you guys know throughout the day how this is wearing on me, how I'm feeling about it but so far I feel like this kind of like turned around once I set it, put all my makeup on because it's looking really, really good. I would compare this to, I think, the Fenty concealer because I feel like it gives me kind of like same coverage. But I do feel like the Jouer um, and the Too Faced a little bit more, just a tiny bit more full coverage if you're looking for something super, super good. I'm only testing this out for the first time, so please bear with me. I don't want to go and, you know, recommend this to you guys without really trying it out and having a full scope and just idea of how it works. So I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. It is 7.13 right now, so I'm definitely late for work now, but, but yeah, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Work right now, but I just wanted you guys to see this in natural light. I can't, it's way too bright out here for me to even see how it's performing. But maybe you guys can be the judge of this. I do feel like I feel I see a little tint of uh, yellow from the powder, so I really don't like that. But as far as the concealer, this line right here is very accentuated now, and I'm not really seeing it on this side. But like I said, it's very bright here; like I can barely open my eyes. So I'm just gonna go inside and do another clip inside. I feel like the lighting is a little bit better in here. I'm in the bathroom. But I am seeing a lot of texture and dryness right here. I did apply the concealer all the way down here. So I don't know if that's what causing that. And I'm seeing a lot of creasing and dryness under my eyes. Obviously on the side that I used the brush first looks the worst. But I feel like my under eyes look a little bit on the, I don't know, like... I feel like I look a little bit old, but when I look at myself in the mirror, I actually really like how it's looking. So I don't know if it's like something to do with the camera, but so far I feel like the concealer, maybe I should have color corrected before I applied it because I'm seeing a little bit of dark spots and just grayness like underneath. Um, more than usual I would say but the powder I feel like really looks really good I feel like my skin looks airbrushed and just really really pretty so this is my update it's been I think three or four hours since I applied it so I'm just gonna keep doing updates throughout the day all right guys so this is my third and last check-in I wanted to let you guys see how it's looking I've been wearing this for about eight hours so I feel like I now have a pretty good idea of how it performs on me especially on my skin I have dry skin and so far, let me just um, zoom you guys in so you can see. So, so far right here, I feel like it's looking very, very dry, especially on this side where I went with the brush first. I feel like my skin is looking very like mature there and just like aged. And I really don't like that. I also feel like there's a lot of um, darkness speaking through and I didn't expect that, um, especially for the amount of concealer that I applied on my face. I feel like if I use my Too Faced, which is my everyday concealer, um, and I went with that much product, I would definitely have more of a full coverage and just 
a perfect um, eye throughout the day. So I did feel like this concealer was very lightweight. It applied very smoothly. Um, I do feel like it was medium coverage, not full coverage like it claims to be, but I'm pretty sure you can just color correct under your eyes, apply this on top, and I think you'll be golden and it would just um, really sealed all your darkness and your all your blemishes. I went really heavy on the first application. I didn't try and building it up so maybe it is full coverage once you build it up. I just feel like I applied so much product and I'm usually just comfortable with applying just a little bit just to cover up a little bit of my darkness just for an everyday wear. If I were to go somewhere where I need really full coverage I would probably not reach for this one and that's kind of unfortunate to say because I really like the formula. It is something that you kind of put it on your face and it really doesn't dry down very quickly. You have time to to work with it. I feel like it also was very easy to just blend out so I feel like the, f the formula itself is very comfortable and I feel like a lot of people are gonna like it. If you have, um, if your darkness underneath your eyes is not as dark as mine, I feel like you would really really enjoy this. Now I feel like I would definitely have to use a color corrector under my eyes if I'm gonna use this again. The other thing I really liked was obviously the packaging. I feel like this is so stunning. Um, Jeffree Star always goes all out with his packaging and I really really love how this is like so cheek and so cute. Really what gets me is this little diamond right here. I feel like the packaging itself is really pretty and um, another thing I like was a doe foot applicator. I was trying to figure out what concealer um, has this kind of applicator but I think I'm confusing it with a lipstick because I actually haven't seen a concealer with this. I was kind of thinking about it all day but I really liked it. I felt like it was very easy to just um, slide around especially that it holds a lot of product. You don't have to dip in onto your bottle a lot of times. I don't feel like this dragged down to a matte finish like they said. I also don't feel like this was dewy at all. Um, I just feel like it, it gave me a little bit of shine which is really good. I feel like my skin today looks really healthy and I really like that. Um, it also probably has to do with the fact that I use this VDL Luminizer Primer but um, I do feel like my skin looks really really just healthy and glowy which I really really enjoyed. But those are the things that I really like about this concealer. Now the downsides of it, um, I like I said I didn't feel like it was very full coverage. Um, I didn't feel like I liked how it applied with the brush. I would definitely just go in either with your fingers or have something you like. That's not definitely not for me. But I did apply it with my beauty sponge and I feel like that worked out so well for me. And it was just really easy to just maneuver. So I really like that. The other thing that I feel like it's a little bit of a downside is the price of this. At first I thought that $22 was so, so cheap for a concealer. But when you compare it with how much product you're getting, it's a little bit on the steep side. Um, that is not something that bothers me. I usually, if I like something and the formula just does wonders for me, I would just go ahead and purchase it. So, so I did feel like I had a lot of grayness under my eyes and I did feel like I had to color correct in order to use this. I feel like if I color corrected my eyes, I would probably end up loving this. Um, the other thing that I didn't really feel comfortable with was that um, after I applied it right here it's showing a lot and when I say a lot I mean a lot of dryness right here and I do have dry skin but this is like the extreme I don't usually wear concealers that make me feel and look this dry so I feel like once I was like kind of brushing this away like this and I applied the powder it kind of like took off some of the product right here so I feel like you can probably see I don't know if you can see right there. You can probably see my skin through. And I'm getting this pimple right here. That is new. That is starting to happen in the last couple of hours. So I hope to God this is not breaking me out. But that is just something to keep in mind. If you're wearing this, it is going to get a little bit more oily throughout the day. That is not something that bothers me. I actually like looking a little bit more dewy um, at the end of the day. I feel like my skin would obviously never get too oily. But um, I do feel like if you have oily skin, you definitely have to set this because it will turn a little bit shiny on you. Um, regarding the powder, I do feel like the price for the powder is very, very fair. And I really like that this is only $22. You can get this very good. I feel like this is great quality for only $22. I do like the packaging. It has just Jeffree Star's little logo right here. I also like the fact that he put two sides, one where the product comes out and one where you can dust it off. I did. I do still feel like it's a little bit messy, but that is just something that happen, happens with loose powders. If I do feel like I want to get the beige, but I looked on Beauty Bay, Beautylish, and Jeffree Star Cosmetics and it is sold out everywhere. So maybe I'm just going to have to wait for the next launch. Something that I really, really liked. It was very buttery. It applied very smooth and silky. I feel like this gave me a porcelain finish and I really, really like that, especially on this area 
this right here. My forehead looks really good. I feel like everything applied really, really, really pretty over top. And I did feel like it evened my skin tone because before I applied this powder, I was hating this concealer, like really, really hating it. And I feel like this kind of like fixed it. Um, I did feel like it looked very airbrushed. I did feel like it did um, add a little bit of coverage and don't quote me on this, but I do feel like it did that, especially because it has a yellow tint. Um, that is not something that I love, but maybe I'll keep it and maybe I'll get beige or maybe I'll return it and just get beige. I don't know. I haven't decided. I also feel like during the summer, I'm probably going to be more on the golden yellowy tone. So maybe this is something that's just going to look better um, once I start getting more bronzed. But I do really like that this has like a matte setting finish. Um, it lasts really long and it seals your foundation really well. And it's also very, very fine milled. I am very picky with the powders that I use and I feel like this reminds me of the Hourglass um, powder and this one's just a little bit better so I'm really excited for the powder I was kind of like disappointed about the concealer I made up may end up returning the concealer I'm not sure yet but these are just my thoughts with this um, powder and concealer by Jeffree Star I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful if you're kind of like looking for what shades you should wear I would definitely recommend reading my description box because I put um, all the undertones over there and you can definitely see which one your shade would be so with that said guys thank you so so much for watching this video as always don't forget to subscribe below and like this video and I will see you on my next one bye